All right, guys, welcome to Hardscaping with Gaps. You know what you gotta go like this, you know? Good morning, guys. So, well, you guys can probably tell right now, we are back at this property. Um, we're actually gonna be doing the whole job this time. Uh, last time the homeowner didn't want the whole job done, he just wanted a brush. And then we ended up waiting until fall season. That was in spring. It's fall now, so weeds came back over the summer. So we're gonna be taking care of it. It's not as bad as last time, but we're gonna get there. Uh, I'm gonna leave gaps here because I gotta go pick up a tiller. And then I have to go pick up seed starter. The soil here looks seems pretty good to me. I'm just gonna till it, roll till it. With the, I'm gonna go rent a tiller for attachment for the bobcat. And that should do it for that. Okay guys, right now I'm picking up the straw and then I'm gonna go buy a seed starter here in a bit. I already went and picked up the attachment. I'll show you guys to you guys in here in a bit. Okay guys, so here's a, the tiller that I rented. It's here, tiller attachment for the Bobcat NT100. Uh, it's my first time using it. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do it today. I don't like dealing with, with bales of straw because little straws get, you know, in those little cracks that you have in your pants and stuff. Pockets, everything. It's messy. Hold up. I didn't think this this through when I hooked up this truck. So now I gotta deal with the fact that it's gonna be a little dirty inside. So yeah, right now I'm just cleaning myself off best as I can. No way I don't leave a big mess in my truck. Okay guys, she's all tarped up. Boom. That's the locking mechanism right here. It's locked, ready to go. We're gonna go pick up some seat starter guys in uh, Willoughby, East Lake. We gotta go pick up some seat starter for uh, the lawn that we're gonna do. Just so, you know, hopefully we get some grass here in the next couple of weeks. Two more, in two weeks we'll have grass for sure. But um, yeah, right now, picked up the straw. I have the attachment. All that's left is picking up the, the seat starter. And uh, maybe another bag of seed, I don't know. We'll see what we get there but stay tuned guys i'll show you guys when we get to the to site one because where we buy a lot of our materials at site one so stay tuned and this is where we buy our mulch and topsoil at mrlm men are recycled landscape materials also referred as gto check it out guys i purchased myself one of these i had one of these but i lost it but here i got another one these come in very handy and I've needed it a couple times already throughout the year and I don't know why I never went and, got, went and bought one but I'm gonna take better care of this one. and then right now I think I'm just gonna go home and pick up the seed pick up my seed that we forgot we forgot to pick up the seed that I have I was gonna buy some here but they didn't really have uh, much seed varieties left and I didn't want to make seed so I'm just gonna wait I hope and hope my brother has seed that way I can seed can you like me and him i can use some of his seed because we use the same seed so hopefully it has some seed i'm really hoping i have enough i think but i just want to make sure about it. i want to finish this job today since it's going to rain for the next three days and it's going to be good for the lawn for our grass growth so that's why i want to finish this job today okay guys just pick this up but uh here's the result of that uh soffits and good completion came to pick up we had a little bit of sea starter left so that's a plus but man look at all these leaves ah, fall season is here and then winter will be here before you know it so try and get as much work as we can before fall so here we go so, I'm gonna go inside real quick, say hi to my mom, and then I'm gonna head out. Okay, it's good. Okay, it had dirt in there, so it was hard to get in there. All you gotta do is push them in, though. That's it. Push. Ah, uh, the more you know. No. Nah. <laughs> Thank 
This is what Gap did. <laughs> it looks clean enough. It's gonna be really easy now. So, and good thing we got good dirt there too. What? That's good dirt right there. It's gonna be nice. You know, hold this lever. I want to see how it works. So go like this. And go backwards. Okay? That's backwards. Go forward. Do that forward. quick video of how it looks right now we're gonna be ripping this out and leaving some trees up but all the weeds and bush are going out uh, my brother's giving it a second rake it already looks pretty pretty leveled uh, he's gonna keep doing that until um, everything is pretty much loose then he's gonna put the bucket on and he's gonna start scraping it all the all the brush and everything the little weeds that are left are gonna be brought back in the pile over there and then we're gonna level it off all together, everyone. Uh, we're probably gonna start, we're actually gonna start up the hill. So we're gonna start from here. All of us go in a row, boom, 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 down, and knock it out. Okay guys, so the tiller wasn't working out too well for us. So I'm gonna try and go back to uh, our handy wrench where we rent our uh, equipment and get a Harley rake. Uh, see if I can just swap it out or something or, or pay you know a little bit more extra or something. but. The tiller was just wasn't working out. I only had it for four hours. It's two, but well, actually five hours now. But uh, it's I got it at ten in the morning. It's already about to be. It's about it's fifteen till three, so it's about five hours that we've had it in our hands. But we couldn't really. I mean, it wasn't effective for us. I thought it was going to. I never rented the tiller, so I didn't know how it was gonna be. But I I hoped it would be a little bit better. But it just. You know, it just chops up the, the, the dirt and clumps and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, now I'm going to go return this uh, tiller and just pick up the Harley Ray. Hopefully, Peaky's here. Peaky's one of my buddies. So, that'll be awesome. All right, guys, we just picked up the Harley Ray. Just picked this up. Just put it on the we trailer. Just picked it up. Gaps. It was like that, yeah. Sir. You load it up by yourself? Yeah. Con un puro huevo. So it's coming along here. We got straw. We got plenty of straw. I bought a lot just in case. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. We're, we're almost done greeting the other side. And then we gotta agree this whole side, but we got the Harley rake. 
thankfully. And uh, that should make our job a lot easier. <laughs> so let's go start ripping this out a little more and then I'll show you guys a little bit when we more advanced. And uh, we're hoping, I'm hoping to finish it today. It's uh, 3.30 right now. So it gets dark until seven. We got like four hours. Four hours to finish this project. I think we can. Four hours is with six guys. So should be fine. Okay guys, so it's like about to be 5 p.m. and we're all pretty much set and done with grade. And I think we're gonna start seating here in a bit and we should be done. Uh, hopefully today, we got about two and a half hours left of daylight. We still gotta roll it to a little bit. Other guys left, it's just me, Caps, and my brother. And then if we don't, if we end up not seating it today, then I'll probably, you guys will probably see me here tomorrow morning. We, I want to finish this before it rains on Monday. I just want to show you guys real quick. It looks really, really nice. We have all the seed and everything there. But uh, there we go. You guys can just tell like the, the difference. We opened this up. I mean, he still has some trees there, some privacy, some shade. And we left a couple trees there. And we opened this area up more. We opened that area up back over there. I mean, everything is just looking really, really nice. So I'm happy with the result so far and homeowner is happy too so he's happy I'm happy and then there's a stump like right here that we're not able to get out unfortunately it's too big for our bobcat so I mean we could probably uh, rent a stump grinder or something but that'll be separate separate quote from, from what we're doing right now okay guys so we didn't get to finish today but we got part of it done we got from the shed over here Completed, graded, uh, seed and straw. Just to see. And then I actually bought way more straw than I needed. So that's not good, but also good. Um, and uh, yes, we got here, over here left. So we're gonna be doing that tomorrow morning. Bobcat's staying here, I'm taking the key with me. The attachment's staying here for the night. I gotta turn it in tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'll turn it in. So. Yeah, should be good. Should be pretty much set tomorrow. Me and two of my brother's guys maybe are gonna be coming. And if they don't come, I'll just come by myself, I guess. It's heading out now. I think the homeowner went out to party or something. So they're not home. But he likes it so far. We left it. I mean, it looks pretty nice compared to how it was. I don't think I got it before. I have before pictures, actually. A couple. I'll show you guys. But there it is. It's coming along. It's very good. So right now, we're gonna be heading home. Good morning guys uh, so it's currently nine in the morning uh, I woke up at eight uh, but I got organized I was trying to get organized but gaps ended up taking my keys to my single cab so uh, I have no access to my dump trailer so I guess I'm gonna come use my brother's truck and trailer just because I have to return the Hardy rake and I need to finish that job so i'm about to head out right now in his truck go pick up the harley rake go turn it in and then i'm gonna get something to drink because i low-key have a headache uh, so yeah I had a long night last night it was fun there you go guys she's loaded guys i'm almost done i'm just i just put the seat i'm just rake raking it again that way the Seed can be embedded into the dirt. Man, it's getting a little heavy doing this alone. Good thing we're not gonna use all those bales. So, and good thing I have a cat here. I'm gonna haul these babies out real quick. Yeah, we're almost done. I'm, I'm estimating about another hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'll probably be out of here like in, like at two, for sure. Get everything cleaned up, ready to go, and paid. I'll be out of here by two. Because I have my brother's truck. I don't know where Caps left the key. Uh, he said it's in the truck. He said the keys are there. So when I get home, I'm going to take the, my brother's truck to my house. I'm going to unload all the bales of straw. And I'm going to put them in my backyard and tarp them for now. 
and then I'm gonna see if I can go uh, recycle the the metal that I have in there. They I think they closed at four today. I don't know if they're open though. They said they were open until four, so let's hope that let's hope they're open and we can be able to dump the steels. That way it won't be in my trailer. And I think that would be it for this project, honestly. I am gonna see if if, if I can give him an estimate to redo his front wall, his little retaining wall, but it's like outdated. So I am gonna let him know if I, if he's interested in that or something for next year or so. Some little projects or so. But yeah, it's getting there, man. This, this is a really fun project, two day project. Unite this thing out real quick. For you guys when I'm about ready to put the straw or when I'm done raking. Cause right now I got, I'm like almost halfway done with raking, re-raking. Okay guys, so I'm laying the straw now. I'm about 75% there. I already did like this whole piece right here. Boom. And like right here. This is where I'm at right now. I should be done by two, I think. It's, it's, right now it's uh, 12.30. This thing is just, it hurts. Like, when it stabs you, when you're destroying stuff. The only thing I hate about this, and it sticks to you on your clothes and then it uh it's like very hard so it, it stabs you so there's nothing i hate about it but it does a job for a cheap for a cheap cost okay guys so we are 100 percent set and done with this job i got paid already homeowner left uh, i had to go run some errands <clears throat> but i'm just gonna show you guys real quick i just finished uh loading up the stuff it is Eight till two, so I was pretty sharp on the timing. I would have got, I would have finished a little bit earlier though, but I took a little ten-minute break. Well, here it is. Very beautiful, very clean. Can't wait to see the grass grow. I mean, it's obviously going to be need reseed, reseeded and fertilized and everything. You know, that's all. Let's see the homeowner. See what he wants to do. But he just wants grass. He just wants this to, you know, slowly and steadily turn into a nice, beautiful lawn like that. And then at this property, I was gonna do the patio, but some of his buddies did it. But I put sod around it, so it looks pretty nice too. And then I will also do the cleanup, mulch, and everything here. This property, so we could do quite some work this year here. So pretty nice project. And now we're on to the next one. yeah guys it's probably gonna be it for today <clears throat> um, I am feeling like sluggish so right now I'm just gonna go unload the stuff at my house and then I'm gonna go pick up my truck and take my brother's truck back then I'm gonna go home uh, shower and I might take a nap I don't know yet check it out guys this is obviously uh, uh, almost two years later this is the lawn right now it obviously is uh, spring season right now so the grass is not like a full blown um obviously like i told you guys they needed to reseed it i never reseeded it uh homeowner didn't want that done but i mean it looks pretty good for it being just seeded once and i don't know if he still fertilizes but he i don't i don't, I don't, I don't know if he fertilizes his lawn or not but it looks the grass looks good though so you guys can see the stump is still there it's getting it's rotting away uh there's a lot of noise here actually the freeway up here a highway up here but this is pretty much where it's at guys two years almost two years later grass looks good grass is growing it just needs reseeded like i told you guys and maybe fertilized and we'll be good to go and we also use existing topsoil here we didn't haul any topsoil in so everything here is is pretty much from what was here already but that's pretty much it guys I'm about to be heading out because it's it's raining. But yeah, guys, that's the final result. Came out really nice compared to how it was, you guys can tell. So let's get out of here.